Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on the European countryside. I know guys, you're probably going to be thinking to yourself, whoa, hang on, it should be Greenlands today. We're having a slight change in the schedule to try and get um, more people into the Attingham Park co-op series. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to now change for instead of it being like a Thursday slash Friday, it's going to go to a... Friday slash Saturday. Now, I'm not guaranteed it's going to stay like that. Like I said, I'm just trying to get more people into that series. If it stay, continues to be just like one person, I am thinking of maybe bringing that series to an end. Well, I'm not going to bring it to an end. It's just not really going to be co op and I'll probably just play it um, as and when I want to play, basically. You know, bring it in as a normal series. We can get it done more we can do more in an episode things like that but like i said i'm gonna give people a chance like i say mr diolo comes in on a friday so i can record on a friday hopefully you can uh, do saturdays you know and maybe try and bring in the other people as well um that, that's kind of how i'm looking at it so i thought well it kind of makes means that attingham would appear on a weekend as well which i do quite like um obviously it would mean attingham would come on a Monday and a Tuesday for the episodes on YouTube so yeah this is kind of Tuesday's episode wow this is a lot of power up here guys this is uh, this is a lot of weight going up here 8.2 ton I'm sure we pulled more than 8.2 ton with this tractor either way we're gonna get there as soon as we can get up here um, I kind of I kind of want to change to November um, but I do have our grass field to do. That's going to be the only problem. We've got more grass to do. Um, but actually, it's not grass that we're going to be doing. It would be um, it would be silage. It would then be ready to be sold in January, which will give us a large amount of money. I'm hoping soon we're going to be in a position to buy a new field. Um, we we haven't actually bought a new field yet since we've been on this series. Um, we've only got the starting fields. The, the issue we've had with it is um, oh, no, let me just we've had to buy equipment. Whoa, twelve thousand pound! Wow, I I didn't expect twelve thousand pound. Wow, wow. That is, I did not expect £12,000 from them, is it two trees, one, two, two, but well, two trees and a little bushy thing, I wouldn't exactly call it a tree, well, I know it's a tree, but I wouldn't exactly have called it a tree, wow, £12,000 from them couple of trees, it's because the wood's longer, it, I know exactly what it is, it, the wood's longer, That is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna look at maybe upping the time to five as well, guys, um, rather than three, just to try and pass the days a little bit more. Um, so we're not doing like over much. This series isn't about doing a million jobs all at once. This series is all about like using the older equipment. Um, we, we know some of the, some of the equipment's gonna be absolutely tiny. Um, we've got enough to buy that plow. Problem is, I think my issue is still going to be running it. Is it 170 brake horsepower, I think? We are going to need a plough soon, you see, for our own farm. And I'm trying to do a ploughing contract while, while there is a couple. Um, let's have a look. We've got a cult of it. Yeah, look, there's only the one now. Field 19. Field 19, yeah, it's that one there. Yeah, down back, yeah. It's... The problem I've got is I don't want to buy a small plough. That simple. I don't want to buy a small plough. We do need to buy a bag of chicken feed, though. Um, We need 170 brake horsepower. This is our problem at the moment. We need 170 brake horsepower. And the problem we're having 
is that amount of power. We've got nothing close. So that kind of power for the plow which means we'd have to use a small plow um i don't know 130 break four meters wide yeah we can't it's all right we can't have a, uh the super wide one can we we'd never get it over the bridge we might not even get that one over the bridge that's that's quite a that's a scary thought actually we may not even get that over the bridge um, but yeah, we we do need to be looking at a plow. None of these, none of these fold. That's that's an issue. Three point three meters. It's it's more money though. Like I say, we we're trying to use the older equipment, but we've got to be able to. I mean, if I use that, I might as well use that. It, it looks homemade and old. International 55 chisel plow. The problem is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that. I literally have 130 brake horsepower. That's that would be on the edge of the limit. That's the problem. I'm I'm a little unsure of what I'm going to be able to do. If I get if I get into any problems with this plow, I'm going to be screwed. Um, subsoilers. Now I have thought about maybe going down the subsoiler route. And I did say we could maybe look at maybe using something like this. But again, it's 130 brake horsepower. That is exactly our limit. And it's quite scary because we may not we we may have issues with that. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy this 130 brake horsepower. If we have to, we might have to sell this blue tractor. Um We know there is a tractor out there with more horsepower it's the red one we use the um, the imt that we use from the attingham series so we we know there is a tractor out there that can pull this we've just got to be we just got to basically make sure we can try and pull it i, I don't really want to be selling this tractor just yet um, that's the thing i don't want to be selling it just yet but we 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 need to be able to plow um our own fields are going to need plowing because what i'm thinking is i'm thinking of joining one and three together not this year because obviously we've already got the crop on the ground but next year i'm looking at joining one and three together so basically it's the length of like field number five um obviously we've, we've dipped down in the money again which isn't really ideal But we needed we needed a plow. We need the equipment. We might as well make two thousand pound back from the equipment uh, from a contract doing it. I'm just hoping this has got enough power. I don't want to sell this tractor just yet. Um, the idea is to get like the IMT, you know, get one of the bigger cases, things like that. But at the moment, we've just done. You know what I mean? We're going to be wasting money selling this. Or are we? That's the thing. I don't know. Shall, shall we see how much this one's worth? Let's see how much this one's worth. We'll pick up the plough. We'll go look at doing that contract. That's probably all we're going to really get done in this episode. Um, I say I do kind of want to get it over into November. Well, let's just see how much this tractor is worth. That's the main thing. Let's see how much it's worth. It's just in case we do need to get rid. Um, we can sell this for £25,000. Obviously, that's without it being repaired and repainted, but you don't really make your money back on that. In my eyes, you, you maybe make about five or ten pound back extra. Not, it's not worth the hassle to me. Um, but yeah, we, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll see how this manages. If this doesn't work, we may have to sell this, use the rest of the money to buy a bigger tractor. Now, it does mean that 
we're gonna be uh, we're gonna go back to having no money which is the biggest issue I've currently got with this I don't really want to go back to having no money in the bank because like I said I am trying to buy a field trying to Oh, lovely. Yeah, I forgot I've got the mod on for uh, realistic refueling. Well, it not not it's not realistic as in like the speed because it does still fill up really really fast. Obviously, it just you have to get out of the uh, tractor to to fill, and I forgot about that mod. Right, field nineteen. Yeah, bit of a long-winded uh, episode. You know, driving to the shop, kind of explaining what we're doing, things like that. Um, but yeah, I can't believe we made £12,000 on that wood, to be honest. That basically bought the plough. Then we'll make two grand on top, so... Yeah, we're, we're going to be like 14 to 15 grand, because it was obviously somewhere in the middle of there. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. We'll get this, this ploughing contract done. I just hope this tractor works. Um, I don't know if it's going to come through on the microphone, guys. But I do apologise if you can hear fighter jets in the background. Um, yeah, the RAF. I live not that far from an RAF base. Um, it's not normally an issue, but obviously today they're deciding to practice, and uh, I've normally I've normally recorded by now. I am recording a lot later today than I normally would. Well, that seems okay on the flat. Yeah, I can hear at least I can hear at least two or three fighter jets fighting, uh, practicing today. Yeah, um, my my kids are on holiday now, so I'm recording videos just a little bit later than usual. I'm basically I'm having a, I'm staying, keeping my ass in bed, um, because. I, at some point today, hell will break loose. It's the downside to having two autistic children who have to share a bedroom. Um, until we can buy our house that we're looking at buying. Um, yeah, I've got two autistic kids who basically bounce off each other. And I don't mean like bounce off each other in a fun way. One likes peace and quiet, the other one's a really loud, a, a really loud autistic person. And they just bounce off each other and trigger each other and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know at some point today there's going to be a war zone. So I'm still trying to get my video done. They, they are still in bed at the moment. I do believe one of them's... I believe the quiet one's up. Well, I know it's a quiet one because it's not bouncing off the wall, so... <laughs> but, yeah, I'm kind of just recording a little bit later. I'm trying to have a little... I'm trying to have, like, an extra hour in bed on a morning just to... I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. That's all I'm gonna say. I love my kids to bits. You know what I mean? Wouldn't I? Wouldn't change them for the world because, like, I've grown up with their person. You know, they've grown up with their personalities. I know. I know how to like handle and deal with them and things like that. But yeah, to have two opposites when it comes like on the autism spectrum kind of thing. One's real quiet, likes peace and quiet, lives in his own little world. The other one bounces off the wall. You you would swear down he also had ADHD. He doesn't, because the medication did absolutely nothing when I tried it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, bounces off of the walls from the minute he gets up to the minute he goes to bed. This is alright, this plough with this tractor. I can tell you now, though, as soon as it gets to any hill, I think it would... I think it would basically just give up. Um, I'm gonna go in straight lines here rather than just keep up with the uh, shape of the field. I know it's gonna be a bit more awkward to plough it, but if we can do it this way, it should be a lot nicer. I can't remember on this shape if I said I could have a worker. A worker would come in handy. The problem I've got is this plough is not very wide. And because this plough is not very wide, 
It might use all the money in wages. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. <coughs> I, I tell you one thing though, guys. Oh, my. Touch wood. I'm literally touching wood at the moment. Um, yeah, my cough seems to be very few and far between. Especially yesterday. Um, yesterday, my, seem to get it at the moment now when I go like from the inside to the outside. You know, with the weather change and that. But today, it's like 12 degrees. Minus three yesterday. Today, 12 degrees. All the snow, all the ice, it's completely gone. Um, yeah, absolutely gone. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, really really impressed with that. Um, but um, I think since the temperatures kind of warmed up a little bit, my cough has got a little bit better. Now I'm not saying it's gone, as you can tell. I've been you know I'm still not right down the on recording, but yeah, overall I think it's made a massive difference. To feeling better as well. This is looking really good. I was going to put it into a time lapse and do another job, but like I said, I kind of just want to get out of um, out of October. Into November, I, mean, I am going to have to cut our grass field though in uh, in the next episode of this series. It needs to be done. It's as simple as that. It needs to be done. There's, there's no getting around it. It needs to be done. So, and I'm not really sure how and what we're going to do with it. Um, I was thinking of maybe keeping one or two bales. I suppose it depends how many bales we get off the field again. Because um, I am thinking of maybe keeping one or two grass bales, you know, for the sheep. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing grass on this series. If I'm going to do grass, I would rather do a grass contract and keep some of the excess bales. But, obviously, with having no money in the bank again, we're going to need some silage, a quick money earner, and we do have a field to harvest. So I do think that's the best way we can do it. I don't think this is pulling at the correct speed. I think it should be pulling about nine mile an hour, I think it was. It's pulling about seven, so we're not getting the best speed out of this plow with this tractor. So we could still do with having the other tractor. But I think overall I could lose a couple of mile an hour just it's not the end of the world. I know it means it's gonna slow jobs down. But I think overall it we, it just means we can keep this tractor for a little bit. I don't want to jump in and be like, yeah, I've got 200 brake horsepower tractor. Da -da. Do you know what I mean? And then never need another one. There's not many old schooly tractors on farms, and I would like to use a few of them, not just buy the best one and be like, right, there you go. We don't need another one. That is looking splendid. I'm, I'm really enjoying that. It's, it's working really well. To say it's only just got enough power. Um, I do have a question though. Allowed to create fields? Yes. But yeah, we can create fields with this plow. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to go any bigger, to be honest. I feel like if we get a bigger plow than this, there kind of wouldn't be any point. Now, normally I time-lapse doing plows, but like I say, I'm only trying to get to uh, out of October and into November, so there's not much more we can... Uh... I'm tempted, actually, to get rid of fuel too. There's grass now. Maybe cut the grass, silage it up, and then get rid of it. Because there's always plenty of grass contracts on this map. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think we should do with field 2. Do you think we should keep it as a grass field? Or do you think we should uh, look at ditching it and just do the grass con? We, we end up doing grass contracts anyway for the incoming. We just sell like one or two less bales. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you think we should keep field 2 as grass. Or if we should get rid of it. And put a crop in there. We can always put like sorghum in it. In summer. Or spring, shall I say. Plus we don't have anything to feed the chickens. So we're not producing eggs yet. And I've got nothing in the ground for chickens. So as it stands now, I might have to do a, a harvesting contract. Don't really want to do a harvesting contract. Not right now anyway, but we will if we have to. But again, we need, we need sorghum, wheat or barley. If there's no sorghum, wheat or barley contracts, then there's literally no point in doing it. But yeah, the, the farm itself is not really growing, like the amount of fields we've got. But the farm is still growing. Obviously, we're growing equipment at the moment. And I do think that's what we need at the moment. There's no point having a million fields if we don't have the equipment to deal with those fields. That's why I'm thinking what we're doing at the moment is best. Um, you know, doing contracts, um, buying equipment as we go. Like I say, I don't want to do loads and loads of trees. I, I don't like tree work. I never have done. This is looking really good though. That's all I'm going to say. This is looking really, really good. Not really sure why it's not ploughing properly to the end, but I don't know. It's a bit weird. Either way, we're pulling it. There was a little bit of a slow. I think, like I say, it should be nine mile an hour. I might be wrong. I will check it afterwards. I'm sure it said it was nine mile an hour. And obviously, you know, yeah, look, you know, that's reversing it, yeah, 21 speed. But we'll have a look once we've done the, once we've actually done the job. Lose two mile an hour, keep the tractor. Or sell the tractor and then have to buy another one. See, the John Deere is going to stay because we've got the front loader for it. Um, 100 brake horsepower, it... It's a nice little tractor. It'll do the job. I just want to try and keep this as long as I can because this has been really, really good. need a wash though I don't even know if I, have I got a jet wash on the farm I think so oh, maybe not I don't know if not we'll have to have a look maybe get a hose pipe I think a jet wash would be a little bit too new for this series but if I don't have a hose pipe mod I'll just have to use a jet wash I won't have a choice for that like I say we will try and keep it as old school as possible um, if I, like I say if I don't have a hose pipe I'll have to get a jet wash Yeah, I'm wasting space here, aren't I, with that? To do with being on the edge. Yeah, I think this, I think this kind of puts us in good standing on this episode. We're, uh, we're almost ready to go into November. You've got to remember as well, the, uh, the winter months are shorter. Unless we end up working in the dark. And I don't really want to work in the dark, I think. Working in the dark kind of sucks um, on this game. Yeah, 
Yeah, 91% done. This, this strip would finish the contract. I am just going to finish the field though. Um, I did state I would finish the fields as much as I can. Yeah, th this machine is definitely, definitely in desperate need of a wash. Build 19 has finished, yeah. The, I'll go down and then I'll come back up. Job done. It's only going to take like another minute or so. But I love it. We bought a plough. We bought a plough. Let me just check the um, the speed of this plow. I said I'd check it when we did. Oh no, seven mile an hour. It had no issues at all on that contract. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think we should do with field two. Um, there's always plenty of bailing contract. There isn't over winter, so November is going to be like the last month to get some grass and some silage um, we could maybe do a silage contract and keep our grass for the the, for the grass and this is why I didn't buy a plow too big that only just fit only just fit that over there it'll be fine there for now um i gonna have to look at rearranging something somewhere I can't believe I still need sheds to be honest um yeah what we're we doing here for this um yeah see that takes such a long time to give me one big pallet of thing but it'll be worth more when it comes i'm telling you now they respawn every time i come in um something i did notice you yesterday guys off recording look i have a floating tree um so again let me know what you think we should do um, I think we'll maybe chop that tree down. I think it would make sense to chop that tree down. Um, no, the wood didn't spawn back up here. I was just double checking because obviously if it spawns back, there's no point in me continuing to do that. But yeah, I think... Um, we've got a couple of cultivating contracts. Let's have a look. Two, there we go. Um... So that makes hay. Yeah. Grass. November is the last month for grass, so we do have to get the grass cut um, in the next episode. I'll probably cut our grass off recording just because, um, like I say, I'm probably going to end up doing a contract anyway because I, I want to try and get some silage. Um... They still need a hoe, not herbicide yet. So yeah, I'll probably cut ours and windrow it. Because like I said, I'm, I'm going to make silage out of ours. Um, I keep loading the wrong menu up. I don't really want to do 11 and 15. 
15's there and 11's there. They're not very big fields. But it's only worth a thousand pounds. That's the problem. Not that a thousand pounds are bad. It's just right now. Yeah, that that is the only that is the only contract field seven, which is that one there. Um, what have we got money wise? Fifteen thousand pound in the bank. Is there maybe a field we could buy? Eleven. Field 11 is, uh, It's not field 11 Field 13 it's farmland 11 You'll have to forgive that That's the stupid platinum update uh, Let's have a look at field 13 then What is in it? We have nothing in it I'm trying to decide if this is a good field to buy I know it's not very, you know, I know these fields are not very big. This isn't about making, like, ma you know, massive quantities of grain. This is... What could we plant in it? If we bought that, it would leave us with nothing. That's the problem. But, you know, that's the good thing, though. In 1929 is the best price last year. 1929. We're already... So, we're going to be looking at about £14,000 for the oat we've got. If I make silage, 533, see that's nearly, the, that's nearly the highest price we can get as it is. Yeah, I'm, this is clearly not going to have any crop in it over winter, I don't think. Um... I didn't realise that was as big as that. Um, yeah. Let me know what you... Again, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Do we, do we maybe look at buying field 13? We do just about have enough money for it. Um, yeah, we don't have enough money to buy that. Or that. We will have some money coming in soon. See, I'm I'm tempted like these fields here, just because we've got access here. Or yeah, we've we've got access here as well. I'm I'm really tempted about this about this field. Let me know what you think in the comments below if we should buy field thirteen. Um, as I say I am gonna do this grass off the car. I'm just gonna cut it and windrow it. That's all I'm gonna do. We'll bail it and we'll bail it and tear it in the next episode. It might even be tomorrow, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to rearrange the schedule to get more people in Attingham. And I don't want to have like one episode of European, then two Attingham, and then one European. I'm trying to keep them in blocks. Um also this week I'm gonna be batch recording to cover Christmas. Just so I can have a few days off over Christmas. Still going to try and put a video out every day. Just obviously, I'm just not going to record it every day. Um, but yeah, I think we're in a pretty good position here. Um, everything should be... Everything's fertilised. There, 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 there. Yeah, just, just let me know what you think of Field 13. I think it's... None of these are soy bean, sugar beet, sugar beet, soy bean, soy bean, corn and sunflower. Yeah, so none of these are for the chickens. All I can do is windrow, ted, bale, field seven. I'm going to accept field seven no matter what because we need something else to do. I might even cut field seven off recording as well just because I'm going to have the mowers out on ours. That's ted in it and stuff this would be silage so like i said i'm not trying to do too much off rec off recording but i just want to do a little bit that you know we've done a lot of grass lately um i, I think i don't want it to get like the same thing all the time it's just at the moment we're not having much money we have to work with what we've got do you know what i mean i am going to chop that tree down as well guys um I'm, actually i might chop that tree down first 
I will sell that off recording as well though, because it's... I know why it's floating. It's floating because we... Well, you can see why it's floating, because we put the... Um, the sheep here. But yeah, I'm going to chop it down. I'm going to take it into it. I don't want it floating, and I can't lift that ground up because of the sheep back. Because of the sheep pen. Um, so if we just get rid of it, once we got some money, we can always look at putting a, you know, we can always look at just placing a fully grown tree back in. I just don't want to have a floating tree. Hopefully you guys can understand that. But yeah, I don't like doing tree work at all. I'm not, I'm not great with it. Um, but yeah, I'll get this done. I'll get them fields cut. And then, like I said, that means we can tear them, windrow and stuff over in the next episode. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I do massively appreciate it if you've watched the episode. Um, and until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.